So welcome back. One of the questions I ask everyone I interview is, what does the future look like? We all know that the pandemic has been with us for 18 months and it's not over yet. We are living in some form of brave new world. There's a lot of uncertainty around and unfortunately there's a lot of fear and fear mongering as well. Can you give us your impression, your idea of what the future is going to look like for us? Well, I've already said uh, some words on this, but one in particular, one area I want to uh, uh, examine is governance. Governance, right? So we get rid of the word government, which is a noun, and we'll use governance, which is a verb, right? Um, you know, the, the main uh, way of governance is that the people are free, that we're sovereign people, right? So, it should be the people governing the people. And there are systems that do that. There's a system in Switzerland called CIR, Citizen Initiated Referendums. And I've coined a term which means the same thing, which is grassroots meritocracy. So it's where you take the, the fascist pyramid, which now exists all over the world, and certainly in Australia, everything's corporatized, right? It's fascist, all this, the the, uh, the uh, decisions are coming from the top. Um, we want to turn that round, right? So we, we we'll put it upside down, right? So we then have the people at the top, both asking for things to happen and making the decisions. And the decision makers, the sort of the intellectuals and the gurus and the specialists are at the bottom. And so they are given requirements by the people and then these gurus and anyone who wants to take part, the meritocracy, uh, come up with solutions. <clears throat> then they offer these solutions back to the people and the people vote on it. Right? So it's, it's the proper way for sovereign beings to uh, govern themselves. And it, it can apply at any level, and it basically gets rid of all of the current uh, infrastructures that, that, that we have, these terrible, uh, maniacal, sort of argumentative uh, uh, talk fests, or where they all rip into each other, that we have, for example, in our federal parliaments, in our state parliaments. It's just ridiculous. It's not human. You know, human beings have, have other values. Truth, unconditional love, helping, hurting never, peace and non-violence. That's how we should govern. And so, um, you know, the future's looking very, very bright because we have the technology and the ideas uh, of, of, you know, changing the ways that we govern ourselves. And I believe that's how we're gonna govern ourselves in the future. It's gonna be the people, asking for things, the specialists coming up with solutions, and then the people voting. Simple as that.